Hello students, welcome back to MathFace Java Programming Tutorials. In this video, I'll be telling you or teaching you what is input and how to take input in Java. Let's see the contents, introduction, practice exercises about input and output, then streams, introduction to packages, list of packages, list of methods and classes in the packages, Scanner class introduction, usage of scanner class, creating objects, methods of scanner class, and then Java programs. Let's start. All of us know variables store the values in the memory of a computer. Now, the value of a variable may be input from the user or it may be given by the programmers. See the user input can be as parameters or reading in the terminal window of BlueJ context. And then programmer may give values at the time of declaration that is known as initialization or he may give after the declaration which is also known as storing and then dynamic initialization during runtime of the program, programmer assigns values. So we are concentrating on user input and we know what are parameters so far. This particular video concentrates on reading the values in the terminal window. Look at this simple program area of circle, which is accepting a parameter radius area of circle is pi r square so radius is required as input now the programmer has declared two more variables this is input parameter is input user is giving double pi is equal to 3.14 this does not change so the programmer has declared this pi variable as final variable, constant initialized. Then double area, some calculation required for calculating the area. It is pi r square. So pi is already declared by the programmer. Radius is given by the user. So pi into radius into radius, which is known as dynamic initialization. And finally, system dot out dot print ln area of the circle is area is being printed in this program. Now in Java, any method with parameters displays a small dialog box like radius, give me radius. This is the input. So far we have learned. And the output in Blue Java is always displayed in a terminal window, which is known as terminal window. Now we want to avoid this step, but read input in this area and display the output in this area itself. So we want to write such kind of programs. That type of programs use either scanner class or buffered reader class to display output also and take the input also in the terminal window. Let's understand first of all what is input, what are literals, what are dynamic initialization with the help of some practice exercises. Recognize the variables as input, output, literals or constants in the following assignment statements of Java programs. Now look at this. SI is equal to PRT by 100. Now PRT if we know then we can calculate SI. So this PRT somebody has to give. Somebody means the user to the program. So input is P, R and T. Three variables here. Input is P, R 
and T. Now literal is 100, integer literal, integer literal is 100. Now there is no constant means final variable is not there, may not be there in this program. Now output is SI, output is SI. Now see this particular statement. Area can be calculated with the help of length and breadth and somebody has to give us. That means the user. So length and breadth are input to the program. There is no literal, no constant. Output would be area. Now look at this. Volume of cuboid I want with the formula pi r r h pi r square h. So pi is a constant 3.14. So pi. Now r I don't know, h I don't know. 1 r if I know, I can make it r into r. So somebody has to give. So r and h are inputs. There is no literal, but output is volume of cuboid. Volume of cuboid. See this particular one. R1, roots of quadratic equation. R1 is equal to minus B plus or minus. You remember that? So, minus B plus or minus b square minus 4ac by 2a. So, r1 is output first time. Second output is r2. So, we have two outputs. One is r1. Second one is r2. Now, I don't know b. I don't know a. I don't know c. The user has to give. Here also a. So, we have three inputs, A, B and C. Now, literals. Two literals are there, 4AC and 2A. So, 4 and 2 are two literals. Is there any constant? No. So, R1, R2, A, B, C, 4, 2 are literals. Now there is one more formula. What is that formula? A is equal to Hiran's formula S into S minus A, S minus B, S minus C where S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2. So first a output is A and second output also S. When I know S, I can use this as input in this particular statement. So, in order to know S, I need three inputs. What are they? A, B and C. And also this S will be input for the other statement. So, S also is acting as both output as well as input to the other statement. So we have covered A, B, C, A, B, C, S also covered. Under root we, we know we have square root function. So literal is not there, constant is not there. So by looking at the formula only we can decide what is input, what is literal, what any constant or what would be the output. Once if we are clear with this, then we can write programs very easily. The objective of this lesson is to learn how to take input from using scanner class. But before that, we need to understand streams and packages. Let's go to streams. In Java, input and output is in the form of streams, which is nothing but a sequence of data. The important streams in Java are input stream 
and of put stream both of them are further divided into three more streams first one is bite stream which handles file input and output second one is character streams which can handle file input as well as input output as well as input from keyboard and displaying the output on the monitor the third one is standard streams they take input from keyboard and display output or error on the monitor now java environment provides several packages packages which is a collection of classes and classes are collection of methods and these packages are readily available for us to handle the input and to display the output in order to take the input we use the object uh, called in in object which is already defined in system class and for output and error we use out and err objects system dot out to dot println so coming on to packages like in real life we access libraries where so many racks are available and similar type of books or concepts in similar concepts are arranged in a particular rack let's suppose this is computer science then this is social studies something like that just like that in java instructions related to input and output are available as library classes and these classes have number of functions inside them similar type of classes are bundled in packages like right? racks over here or in computer terminology it can be a folder subfolder and things like that now important packages which are related to input and output java.lang is a package java.util java.io now this java.lang without our knowing every class we create as a programmer this package is available to us it is already available to us that's why we are using system dot out dot printl and string character class math class everything we can use because of java dot lang package which is made available to every class created by user that is programmer but if i want to get, take input in the terminal window i need to use either java.util package or java.io package what are they java util or java.io in this video we'll be discussing java util package and there are so many packages visit so this website for a complete list of packages available in java now these packages are bundled with so many classes each package and each class has so many methods so we will just see a gist of it java.lang has string string buffer which has length function important function system class has print printl and math class has pub square root character is digit char and so on and so forth java util which is very important has a scanner class date class calendar class utilities there are so many methods next int has next next long get date get in instance get time etc and java dot io buffer reader class input stream reader class file class all these classes are in java dot io package 
Now scanner class introduction. The scanner class library classes can be used to take input in a terminal window and display the output in the terminal window itself. In Blue Java, I am talking about. Now it is taken in the form of streams collection of characters. And this scanner class is defined in java.util package. And buffered reader class is defined in java.ivo package. We can use either one of them to take input. Now, uses of scanner class in our user defined class. This is a built in class we want to use in our class programmer defined class. We need to have a statement called import java.util.scanner or import java.util.star. Star means all the classes. But we usually use import java.util.scanner. The first step is to import. Import means make this scanner class available to the user defined my class, whatever class I create. After that, the second step is to create an object of scanner class. We know how to create an object of any class. Class name followed by object name is equal to new constructor. The class name followed by parenthesis. Similarly, scanner class, some SC, RS1, whatever it may be, is equal to new scanner. This is the constructor. But this constructor is taking a parameter. What is the parameter? System.in. In refers to keyboard. System.in means we are talking about that system class has an object. And in other words, we can say the laptop's keyboard is referred by system.in. Whatever I type is taken by system.in and sends to SC object. Which object? SC object. The other way of taking input to the scanner classes in the form of a string. First time from keyboard. Second type from a string. Directly I am writing a string. Hello, how are you? String should be handled by S1. With the help of methods declared in scanner class. The third way is declare a variable string str and pass that str instead of system.in I can send a string in double quotes or I can send a variable. That variable has Java scanner class. So S1 has access to this and all the methods we can use. So first thing is import. Second thing is creating an object. And third part is to take input with the help of the following functions. Now all these functions defined in scanner class are instance methods. Instance means with the help of object. What is the object we have created? In the first part we have created SC. In the second part we have created S1. Any, any name we can give. So sc dot next short, sc dot next int, and so on and so forth. So whenever I say system dot in from keyboard, you try to read a value, and next short convert into a short value, integer value, next int, long value, next long, float value, next float, double c. The methods, built-in methods, first word is lowercase, second word onwards, uh, first character in the second word is capital. Next, reads till a space only and returns that string. Next line reads 
string till the end returns the string and next with combination caret 0 this we will understand in arrays strings next dot caret 0 means read a string but return the first character starting character so we will learn how to use these methods in the programs okay let's see some programs this is input with parameters this is input using scanner class let's see this program the same program which i have written over there void find area int radius final double pi is equal to 3.14 area is so and so so and so so compile in the dialog box it will accept the input so I am creating an object because this is an instance method, no static void main. So 2 is the parameter I am giving and output is given in terminal window. Area of circle is 12.56. Whereas if I execute this method, static method is written and enter radius it is asking in the terminal window itself because i have used scanner class let's suppose i have given two again and area of the circle is so in order to have this input also in the terminal window output also in the terminal window in blue java blue java terminology we use scanner class what are the three steps first one is we need to import second one create an object third one use the methods so import java.util.scanner is the first statement we have written in the user defined class called input programmer defined class now you know public static void main and we have created an object here scanner is equal to, scanner sc is equal to sc is the object scanner is the class new reserves memory and scanner is a constructor but we are passing system dot in means from whatever comes from keyboard please take here sc object stores whatever we enter we are saying enter radius sc dot next int whatever is entered into the sc convert into integer and store it in radius then rest of the program is similar so we have one line here that is creating an object another line here importing and using the method called next int because we are expecting the input in integer so whatever is entered please convert into integer from sc see sc dot next int store it in radius this is how we use scanner class now scanner methods we have seen some methods first of all import java dot util dot scanner scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in enter a name string name is equal to sc dot next line is the method for string input then or sc dot next what is the difference we can have more than one word here whereas only one word next if we are expecting only one word we can use sc dot next the second one is enter grade one word but first character sc dot next dot caret zero will give you grade that is a grade b grade enter marks those marks can be read as integer or byte or short or long four methods are available either sc dot next int sc dot next byte sc dot next short or sc dot 
next long percentage either percentage usually we give 3.5 whatever marks so next float sc dot next float or sc dot next double now finally we are printing escape sequence slash n name is name slash n go to the next line grade is grade after that anyway next line go to the next line marks print marks then next line percentage is percent so control k and execute the program scanner methods okay enter name let's say abc entered over here grade a marks some 78 percentage we need to calculate but just accepting how to accept i am showing you here how to read 7.8 and it is displaying name is abc grade is a mark 78 percentage is 7.8 this is the input in the terminal window and output in the same terminal window now there is one thing which you need to learn the same program from scanner methods i copied over here that is c enter name enter age enter marks and then percentage same program but here string is accepted first and then rest character and everything what if we ex accept or read string after all these numbers or characters either number or character control b what happens i am accepting a string after numbers or characters control k close and right click enter grade first thing a marks 67 percentage whatever 67 percentage only and c enter name it is not asking and name is nothing grade is a mark 67 percentage 67.0 why because either grade or integers or double they these functions next enter next float next double all these functions are written in such a way they take till the number but internally scanner class takes it as a string in keyboard string means ends with a null character ends with a null character null means that backslash zero we have discussed already that backslash zero they don't read they leave it in the scanner object when we say enter name sc dot next line it can read null character it has read null character which is not printed here which is not printed here null is taken so how to avoid this problem is we write one sc dot next line extra sc dot next line just before accepting string and after in accepting either integers or float values or character this will read that extra null character does not save anywhere doesn't matter now it is ready to take the input as a string control k execute the same program let's see whether name is accepted or not grade a 45 45 name it is asking now because that null character is discarded by sc dot next line now i am giving a name 
so it is displaying name is a a grade is a this is what you need to know in order to take input into different primitive data types and string class object now look at two programs over here first one is read name of a student marks in two subjects in terminal window on displays average display average marks so import java.util.scanner class average public static void main creating an object s1 is equal to new scanner enter name and marks in two subjects string name is equal to s1 dot next line marks one is equal to s1 dot next int and so on and so forth double average m1 plus m2 divided by 2.0 explicit conversion because both of them are integers but i want answer in double then uh, name is displayed marks in subject one marks in subject two and average control k execute the program okay it is asking name marks in two subjects a is the name marks in two subjects 34 56 name is a marks in subject one is 34 marks in subject two is 56 average is 45.0 this is the output now go to the next program read four integers in a terminal window and display in a terminal window is related to blue java but if you go to net net, net means eclipse all those ides this is the only way of taking input here also this is the only way of taking input and those parameters we call functions and while calling functions we pass parameters so this is the correct way of taking input using scanner or buffer reader which is not discussed in this video so we have created import java dot imported then scanner s1 is equal to creating object declared four variables enter four numbers s1 dot next int next int next int next int store in abcd display sum of the first two numbers product of the last two numbers so sum is equal to a plus b product is equal to c into d sum is sum product is product so let's uh, execute the program it is asking enter four numbers i say two three four and five sum of first two numbers is two plus three five product of last two numbers 4 into 5 is 4 multiplied by 5 is 20 so this is how you use the scanner class several examples and practice exercises are given in chapter 5 of basics in computer applications you please refer and do practice the next video is about types of errors and error handling in java thank you